me to be here tonight because when I first started writing, I started out as an essayist. And my very first real book was published by University of New Mexico Press. And that was um, less, more of a coincidence than it sounds because then I was living in Wyoming. And, <laughs> and so they published my essay collection. It was called Wyoming Trucks, True Love, and the Weather Channel. And remarkably, there are copies of it back there, which is really kind of funny to see because it's almost like a museum artifact at this point. Special collections, libraries. Special yeah. collections, <laughs> yes. Um, but what's funny is that the lovely Amanda Sutton was my publicist from UNM Press for that book back in the day. And so it's sort of like we've been reunited across time and space, <laughs> once again working together. Did I say I write fantasy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so anyway, it's just kind of fun. I think I did. Does anyone have a pen? <laughs> I, I write uh, in several different genres, sorry. Celeste is doing the right thing. You're really supposed to just write in one genre and, and be There's good. No right thing. There's no right thing. That's probably going to be the message tonight. So I write um, erotic romance. I don't think anybody's ever called mine sweet or full of values, really. <laughs> yeah, mine are just pretty much, yeah, sexy. And uh, the story that they're referring to, I won't tell the whole story, but uh, Samantha and I and Katie were all at a convention this spring. And because Samantha and I both write erotic of romance stories. We know a lot of those writers. And so Katie haplessly went along with us to the bar. We said, oh, come with us and have a drink. And all of our friends were erotic romance writers. And I don't think I really gave Katie the proper intro to like who these people were. And at one point, somebody's bringing up that they're really mad about a review because a reviewer gave their book a low score and said, well, I'm scoring this low because I don't believe this sex act is physically possible. And, and Katie's listening and Katie said, well, how is I don't see how that's physically possible. And the gal on the other side of her said, oh, well, what you <laughs> decided to give her a blow-by-blow detail. And I think um, it, it was a real eye-opener. Eye <laughs>